Today we're taking this underwater drone out in this crystal clear Florida spring to see what we can find. Let's go. I, I hold on to this storm cause I need to be swept away, swept away. I, I'm cornered in the cold. Hey what's going on guys, Adam Brown Adventures here. Today we're doing a really cool video. I don't know if you can see this box behind me. <laughs> what is that? It says fee fi fo fish underwater drone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy crap. Married life doesn't do you well. No. You're already throwing out dad jokes. <laughs> so, so fee fish reached out to us and then they saw what we were doing, you know, searching underwater, trying to find vehicles, and they have this amazing product. It's an underwater drone. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with drones. I'm sure you're familiar with the ones that fly around in the sky. This one does the opposite, it goes underwater. So we are out at what spring? Where are we at? Hunter? Hunter Spring, Crystal River, Florida. Yeah, we're in Crystal River, Florida at this giant spring. I don't know if you can see it yet, but it's crystal clear. Oh, Hunter Springs Park. Hunter Springs we'll go Park. With that. We're gonna be testing out this drone, going over it, and if you guys are interested at all, make sure to go check them out. Five Fish, I'll have their link in the description below. And uh, if it's something you're interested in, I would definitely recommend go picking yourself up one. They have different models depending on how much you want to spend, but they're super amazing, cutting edge technology, and uh, we're gonna see what it looks like in the spring. Oh, hello there, buddy. Are you just hanging with the seagulls? Seagulls. <laughs> That's what that is. Dude, I think right there, there's a manatee. Oh yeah, there is one. I see him. Oh yeah, look at his nose. They're out today. So we're out here at Hunter Springs Park. People are swimming more over there. There's a lot of grass and growth. They do some more diving, snorkeling that way, but there's manatees all out here. There's one actually right here. We're gonna go try to see if we can get a good shot of this thing with the drone. I'm very excited to use this drone in clear water. I think that's where it's really gonna shine. Oh, Aww. <laughs> can't have nothing nice. But uh, I know this drone works amazing. This is like, I don't know what iteration, but they've, they've been they've been around for a while. Iteration? Yeah. What a word, <laughs> man. This is their this is their mid range the V6 expert level drone so it's it's good I like think it has it has lots of cool features I was thinking like I saw you can uh, like it, it interacts with your phone so like if you see something underwater you you tap the screen and oh, the yeah. drone will stay locked on that target so it'll hover there and stay with it yeah and then if you do the finger thing like it'll zoom in and go back like you're on your phone it's really cool there's a lot of features I can't wait to try yeah I'm excited there's there's a lot hopefully we can Look go through it all. Up. You see it right here? Oh yeah. Ah, rude, you're shot. There's a manatee, there's a killer. <laughs> There's more than one right here too. So we're gonna, you know, be nice to the animals, but we're gonna try to get amazing underwater shots for you guys. Go over this drone, I'm really excited to look at it. So let's get a closer look. So, a few weeks ago, Five Fish reached out to us. Me and Jeremy, he's over here somewhere. Don't worry about him, he's not important. <laughs> but Five Fish reached out to us and they sent, they said they had this amazing product. I got it right here, so let's open this thing and check it out. Whoa, man. So right here you can see in the case we have the drone here. And look at all these propellers all over it. It's pretty crazy. So it has the camera on the front, then it has two lights on either side of it. So even in the dark environments, or darker environments, you get a great shot. And this thing is built pretty nice, I gotta say. Definitely put some engineering into this thing. It's plastic, but it's hard plastic. It's, it's, it feels very durable and well built. And we have a controller right here. So your phone will just sit here, and then here is the spool of wire. It does have to stay tethered. We're not quite technologically advanced or efficiently enough <laughs> to not uh, have a, a cable attached yet. But I'm sure Fly Fish in the future will have that. What do you think, Jeremy? I would. No cable drone? That'd be man, cool. Man, that'd be nuts. It's basically a submarine without a person. I'm sure technology will get there someday. I mean, signals do not travel well underwater. Now, I hear. I hear sound travels well underwater. Maybe the technology will be like, we can tell it where to go. So sound, yeah, I'm sure that is, I'm sure it's already out now, but it's not mass produced or cheap yet. So for now we have the cable, no problem though. This is just durable, sturdy cable. And this is really cool, check this out. They have VR headsets, which you can actually put your phone in, and if you turn your head, it'll turn the drone. So that is really cool. <laughs> so let's hook this up, put our phone on it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Oh yeah. We got this claw. It's the claw. 
It's like Toy Story, man. All the aliens, you know? The claw. All right. <laughs> I want to do a bit where I grab your, your nipple with this thing. I don't think you should. It looks like it's pretty strong. I think everybody would love to see that. Yeah. Cut to me grabbing Jeremy's nipple and him screaming. My nipple, my, <laughs> sever my nipple. Oh, God. That was... We'll, we'll open a new piercing shop and we just use this drone. Pierce it underwater. To give people piercings. We'll save a ton. We're gonna mutilate a lot of people. They just stand in front of it. It's all automated. We're gonna have a lot of unsatisfied customers. <laughs> <laughs> this is the call that came with it. You can actually attach this to the bottom of the drone and there's a bunch of other attachments. Even an underwater sonar attachment. It's not cheap, but it looks super cool. I would love to be able to try one out and show you guys how it works because I think it'd be very useful finding underwater vehicles. So hopefully one day, or maybe Five Fish will send us this underwater sonar attachment that goes on the drone one day to test out or to keep, I don't know. Depending on how friendly they're feeling, you know, I'd love to be able to use it. It is a little pricey, but it looks really, really cool. Jeremy's going ahead and getting his. We're thinking about doing drone wars. What do you think? I think it'd be fun as can be. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get our lines tangled up. Yeah, we can't cross the streams, so but to speak. He's getting, uh, see, it even doubles the seat, apparently. Look apparently. I mean, it's made of styrofoam, so I, don't, <laughs> I wouldn't trust it too dang much. So, I'm you're getting yours lean. hooked up. Let me get mine hooked up, and then we'll uh, take her out and in the race. water. <laughs> what everybody came to see. All right, so we got the drone hooked up. Yo, we got the controller here. Let's put it in and see if we can find any manatees out here. So right now you can see there's a diver right in front of me on the drone. This is our first time pretty much using these, so we don't have all the settings tweaked. You can change all the sensitivity and everything to get this dialed in just how you want it. But we're gonna try to see if we can get a manatee on camera. That's our goal. He's right in front of those two people in the water. Oh, I can see a diver. Oh crap, dude, there he is. I'll be dang. Look at that, they found a man. Dang, that's cool. <laughs> that is so neat. He's just a little guy. Yeah, he's just a little boy. He's just a, he's just a, he's just a boy. <laughs> the baby, look at that. Oh wow, I'm like so close to him. <laughs> he's right by my tree. Oh, he's looking at me. Oh, you're on the ground over there. I see you. Oh, I got a great shot of your drone and the manatee. Oh, for real? Yeah. How deep is it? It's only two feet. That's why it's like I'm stirring up the bottom so much. Look at that big manatee. He's so graceful and beautiful, man. He's like the opposite of you. <laughs> My drone is looking at your drone. Oh, yeah? Man. Where's your drone at? I'm right here. Keep going. Keep turning. Oh wait. Oh, you're oh up and God. down. Up. Oh, next straight up. Oh gosh, where are you up to? You're so close. There you oh, are. Oh, look at you. Ah, look at you looking at me. We're gonna, we're gonna drone. Are we gonna drone kiss? We're gonna. I don't know. If we... <laughs> Dude, it, 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 let's, it's not weird, right? Hey, let's, no, let's, let's, let's touch. Let's touch drones. <laughs> so stupid. It kind of looks like the front of a like a puffer fish or something, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Like a weird manatee or something. Not manatee, but manta ray. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. We actually got to see a manatee. Now let's put the claw on and see how well that works. I'm trying to grab something over here. I'm gonna grab Jeremy's leg. Go put your leg in the water. So here you can see my feet. Oh my God, it's gonna get me. Broke the camera. I have beautiful feet, look at that. All right, so we just swam around. It looks really cool. Definitely clearer water is probably where this thing is gonna shine. So anywhere tropical, and if you're traveling, this would be really cool to take around to see some cool fish and uh, all sorts of other animals and wildlife. Now we're gonna get use this claw. Now I've seen videos on Five Fish's website of actually being able to locate um, different objects including people that unfortunately have drowned but apparently this is able to actually lock on and it's able to bring up a person now that's a terrible situation terrible scenario but in places like quarries where it's super super deep and divers can't easily go this is where it's really going to shine being able to just go all the way down with no limits so let's hook this on and see if we can grab something here's the claw and it plugs in right on the bottom and this actually hooks in on the grooves here and then attaches 
So it's gonna look pretty much like that. So let me get that all screwed in, set up, and then we'll take this thing out. All right, so I just got on the claw. And uh, as you guys can see, that looks th that thing looks really, really cool. So this is where the other attachments go on the bottom. There's the claw, there's a sonar, there's all types of stuff. So Jeremy got some seaweed in his propellers, but we do also have propeller guards that we uh, just decided not to use for some reason. I don't know if they would have helped with this stuff. I think they would have definitely helped. That's what they're designed for. We just like to uh, be difficult. We want to show you guys what not to do. So that way when you buy this, which you should, you don't do what Jeremy did. <laughs> you're not wrong. I mean, I can't, I can't say anything. I can't say you're not wrong. I'm over here and I'm getting the arm screwed in, hoping I did this right. Golly, it's hot. Man. Man. Look at how sick that thing looks, dude. Man. It's pretty sick. All right, let me see your nipple. <laughs> All right, so now you can see the claw. <laughs> and it looks like it's going for Jeremy. Oh! All right, Jeremy. All right, man. Here's your moment of truth. Sorry. I'm doing my laundry. Give me that nipple. I'm <laughs> oh, not strong. It is. Let's see. Here. Okay, right there. Don't don't you do it all? Okay. Okay, stop. Yeah, is it actually right? Yeah. <laughs> It'll grab some, but I bet it ain't gonna let go. So I just use this uh, pointer front right wheel here, to open and close the claw. Just in case I mess something up, you can see it does work above water. Let's see if it works below water. Hey, my lights are on. Look at my lights are on. Well, here's a real life scenario. Got my goggles here, and whoops, they fell into the water. Let's go see if we can grab them. You have faith in me? Hey man, I have total faith in you. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how to get this thing. Look at this thing. You gotta switch settings. If you do the right one, it'll auto correct itself. All right, so mission one is to locate my lost goggles. All right, so there's my goggles. We're gonna open up the claw, grab on. All right, we have retrieved the goggles. Oh, darn. Look, <laughs> I got Did you get it? I got my goggles. Awesome. And it's, no, it worked great. So if you lose your keys or, or okay, hush. Where'd the other one go? If you lose your keys or anything like that, especially in clear water, I should be able to retrieve them. So that's that's really cool. And uh, I'm glad I got my mask back. It's only like a foot deep. So right now we're underneath like the nasty mucky seaweed floating on top and you can see there's tons of fish down here. So this would definitely be a great investment if you're in a fishing spot trying to get a great look at that big daddy that you really want to catch. Big daddy, huh? Jeremy's always trying to get the big daddies. Yeah. <laughs> but that's just so cool. Look, they're all just looking at it. Yeah, what if I can get one with a claw? Huh. How much money will you give me? If you grab one with the claw? Yeah. I don't know about money. I'll give you props. Where are you at? I'm right in front of you, but you're looking... Yeah, I'm right in front of you, but you're looking straight up. <laughs> I'm gonna come grab your drone. Where are you? Oh, there you are. You're down below me now. But you break my drone. <laughs> So you guys saw it working pretty well. Definitely, I think this thing thrives better in clearer water. It is super cool though. I'm really excited to use this on future videos. Hopefully we can find some cars and vehicles with this. Um, I think it may be a little bit difficult in the dark water, especially high current. I know there's features to like track stuff, but that's probably gonna work better if, you, if the camera can actually see what it's tracking. So anywhere tropical, clear water, Florida, you know, springs is gonna work amazing. I would definitely recommend going to check this out. They have different price levels. If you guys are interested in, if you're drone nerds, you know, this is next level. This is underwater drones. So this is the V6 Expert. They have a V6, which is the model below, and they have some more expensive ones, but I'll have the link in the description. Also check out Exploring with Nug's channel. You can check out his video, because he has one too. Super secret. And we have some amazing videos coming up soon. Don't wait. <laughs>
<laughs> I mean, we always do. You seem puzzled. I'm not puzzled. I'm so hot. I think we'd go, go take a swim, <laughs> cool off and reminisce. And we have lots more uh, cars that we're going to be pulling out of the water. So also check out our brand new team channel, Wrecked and Recovered. We've already pulled out two vehicles and we have many more to come. So Jeremy's on that channel too. I've, I've been there. So go by, comment, and say hello. Yeah, hey. But five fish underwater drone, I approve. This thing is awesome. If you guys, like I said, if you want to go get one yourself, I'll have a link in the description. Go check them out. Show them some love. And uh, comment what you guys thought about this. Do you think we're going to be able to use this in a lot more videos? Do you think it's going to be useful? It's definitely cool. And it works. I was able to grab my goggles. The VR, we're going to have to test on a future video. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. Well, that's going to wrap up the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next adventure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this seagull. Hey, little buddy. What you doing? I hold on to this storm because I need to be swept away, swept away. I, I'm cornered in the cold where you left me.